Well, good morning. I am headed back home today. And when I was heading out the door, well, when I was getting ready to, uh, I was getting my things all together by the door, I saw that there's a little ladybug here at my house. And I know one of our subscribers definitely likes ladybugs. Um, so, yeah, that's cool. That made me, uh, that made me smile. But yeah, I'm still getting all my stuff together and hopefully I'll be on the road soon because I don't want to get there after lunch um, just because I like to have like the kind of feel like I have the whole day instead of just having like a later portion of it. But anyways, yes, I'm getting all my stuff together. Way down upon the Swanee River, far, far away. That's where my heart is always yearning. That's where the old folks stay. There it is. That's for you, Shannon. <laughs> okay, well, I stopped because, surprisingly enough, the Cuban place is open. So I'm going to try it out, see how it is. I'm very excited. But um, I, I got to give them peace in my mind, I think. <laughs> Well, I'm here in the restaurant. It's got a very, like, old kind of style to it. But I'm getting a Cuban um, press sandwich to go. So I'm going to be heading home, you know, so. But it's very nice. It's very, very cute. Well, I got my food to go. Um, just got back in the car. But look at this. I got a Cuban sandwich. Oh, that's going to be... Delicious. I mean, look how whoop, look how thick it is with uh, just everything. It's just so good. It just has like a fantastic smell to it. Oh, and then each thing comes with a cookie yeah, and a napkin, of course. Um, but yeah, I, I didn't get any coffee because they they hadn't started a pot, so it was going to take like a little bit and then all that stuff. But I was like, oh, you know, I need to get going. I got uh, plans and stuff back home. But I'm definitely gonna have to try this place again, they're open Monday through Friday. Um, uh, I believe it's eight to two or 10 to two. So it's not that big of a window, but it's definitely, um, you know, very nice people. They're not Cuban. Whoa! Okay, my seatbelt. <laughs> if you were just wondering why I just did that. My seatbelt is automatic. So it goes like, you know, it goes along the door line and back. Like I had my hand holding the camera and then it, when I closed the door, it like, or turn the car on it, like closed, so like, it got my hand and just like ah. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So I'm gonna be snacking on that while I'm on the road. Um, I lost my train of thought on whatever I was talking about the coffee shop, but whatever. Um, very nice people. Um, you know, it wasn't busy or anything. Like it was absolutely nobody in there. But um, yeah, I mean, it's sandwich smells good. I can't imagine they could mess up on that on a Cuban sandwich. Hopefully they did, they did it right. But um, yeah, she was showing me. Thank you, GPS, for interrupting me. How rude, she's very rude. Doesn't, uh, doesn't mind, or doesn't care about other people's uh, conversation. Well, I just got done with my, um, my one half of the Cuban sandwich, and it was really good. It had a very good, um, a very good flavor to it. Um, it had like a, you know, I had a really strong mustardy kind of, you know, just what, like what you expect from a Cuban sandwich, but I would almost say that the sandwich was good, I would get it again, but it's almost like it lacked passion. It was like, it was definitely like the American version that they were trying to be very, you know, authentic with the sandwich, but like you could almost tell that it, everything was just like store-bought, like, you know, sliced ham, like, you know, however thick or whatever. And they just put it all in the sandwich and, you know, press it down, like, boom, there you go. Like, it just didn't have that, that Miami flavor, like, the Cuban Miami flavor to it that, you know, really makes the Cuban sandwich. And, like, the bread is, like, you know, buttered and everything. It's nice and toasty. I don't know. So, yes, it was very good, but I don't know. Like, it could have been better. Well, I uh, just went to Walmart in my hometown and uh, the more the more time I spend in Walmart, the less I want to move back. Like, it's ridiculous how many, like, you know, people, like, I'll, I'll see people that I knew back in, like, high school and other things and they, I'm just like, whoa, wow. 
that, that's not that's not good. <laughs> like you you have not been doing much. Um, so I'm over here grilling it up, eating a hamburger. Got a whole bunch of volleyball going on. Good choice, good choice. Sorry about that. Quite a long point. Right out of town. Did they touch it? No. And the bubbies are here. Service. No, it's not. Those are the holes in the cheese. Got it. Ooh! Game point. 2015. Hey. 2015. Alright. Service. Game. Where'd that serve come from? Nobody knows. Brought to you by the AVP. Nope, no copyright. Good game, guys. You feel the air going in it? Okay, they've cut a hole in a tennis ball. He's locked his key in the car, and he's heard that if he you puts the guy? tennis ball against the yeah. lock opening itself and pushes the air in it, it should pop the knob open. But it's not working. Well, it may not work. Yeah. Don't shine like, that in anybody's cause, eye. Because it's still an audit, like a clicker, and I don't think it's supposed uh, to be. Bum, bum, bum. You, see you can probably do it on my car. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> my car probably. That hole's too big, man. Who cut that hole? Good, nice. Yeah. Somebody's It was fired. a little smaller just because Dang. I've been pushing Yeah, it was, it was, it was about half that size, actually. Dang, man. It's all right, I just need. You can drive a buster. <laughs> bust through <laughs> that hole. Nice. No, that's not nope. doing anything. Uh, well. Yeah, looks like a bust. Dang. It doesn't have all twos. So, <laughs> we have to raise the value. Two sixes. Ooh, two sixes? We're on that money. Two sixes. <laughs> <laughs> ah. <laughs> it's good. <laughs>